Welcome back to Ingare, the puzzle game about touching these weird moving objects and having the point be drawn on them and trying to match the point to the prompt above. Really interesting game about geometry and transformation. And we got two circles kind of spinning around each other and a weird slider which makes it longer. Oh, if only I could have one of those. Well, somehow I've got to use this to match the weird swirly thing. And what I don't get is why I can't just touch this at its peak and then have it complete the line. Well, that's because it's not even close to how it's drawn up there. So maybe it's got to be longer, so it's a bit more exaggerated. So try it again, maybe further out. It has a bigger loop, but it, it runs out of chalk, so it's probably going to be in between there somewhere. How about this one? Seems to be a little bit better, and it gives it to you. And the fun thing is, after completing it, you kind of get to see it complete the pattern, and it's usually very satisfying. Next level's got one hell of a roller coaster it wants me to draw. What am I even... Oh, I'm increasing or decreasing the distance from the center. So it's a circle spinning around a circle spinning around a circle that's spinning. For starters, I'd probably start on the right side, right? Because then I get the three loops. Yeah, three loops, but they probably got to be intersecting, so I imagine it's got to be a lot closer. Let's try this again. How do the three loops look here? Oh, a lot better. They're not perfect, but it does give it to you. Thankfully, it's not too finicky, and I appreciate that. Otherwise, it would be a pain. Now there's two sliders. Okay, so using these two sliders, I got to create a straight line. Well, if they're absolutely tiny... I don't see how that would actually help. Because even though, like, this is a straight line, I guess, won't it always be a straight line? Yeah, I guess that counts, actually. Cool. Nice. Uh, there's three of them. And I can increase the size of just the furthest one out. So I imagine that one actually has the puzzle solution to it. So if it does this long bounce thing, that probably means I need a pretty long piece. How long are we talking, though? I don't know. How I would even think about this. I feel like I just need to try something, see what happens. But that's not even like close to the shape. Maybe I don't need to press it at the exact end? Well, here, at least it's got the arch. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't be pressing at the exact end. Like I could start going down and then over and then up. There we go. Neat. Well, what's it even going to make? Oh, yeah, I know what that is. And if you don't know what that is, fuck you. <laughs> I've got to make a big mound, and I'm increasing the size of the middle one, or decreasing, all to affect the thing on the top, which goes through one hell of a journey. And I'll start it here, because it rotates counterclockwise, so I imagine I would want to go right to left. I'll see what kind of thing it makes. So the top kind of matches. Mmm, no. So you can see the weird upside-down diagonal snowman in the middle is way too big compared to the prompt. Does that mean I need to move this in more? Let's try that again. So, well, the snowman's better, but it has curves that I'm, are not ideal. It shouldn't be looping that far in, but maybe it'll just give it to me. Oh, how generous of it. A kind, generous soul. Oh, that is so cool. Not all of it's filled in, though. Kind of funny. Eight dots rolling inside a circle. And it's interesting. There's snap to grid. So eventually, <laughs> I can just make it be the size of the circle. Well, it should probably be half, right? Yeah, because if it's half the size of the circle, this one... This dot actually goes back and forth. That's actually so interesting. And I imagine all the other dots are straight lines too, as you can see here. Yeah, here you can see they're all straight lines. That's so cool. I gotta make a big play button. So interesting. Am I changing? Oh, the speed at which it rotates. I like how there's a negative and positive in the scale. So would I want it to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise? I could do clockwise, maybe? That is an oval. That's a big pill. Okay, let's maybe speed up that rotation. Maybe see if I get something. Oh, it gets a bit more triangular actually this way. So I'll tell you what. Let's see from here if this actually works out. No, it loops and naturally it's not that triangular at all. You damn fool, it is cool though. Five sides. Actually, I wonder if this four actually... Look, it kind of looks like it's making a four-sided shape. Here, let's, let's tap this, right? It's on the four, so four-sided shape. That probably means it should be on the three. Yeah, it is. Okay, so bring it on three. 
slow it down, touch it. And why wouldn't this work? I mean, it looks right, so it's probably gonna give it to me. Thank you. I'm controlling the speed of the white one. So this means one white rotation per middle blue rotate rotation. This means minus one white rotation for every middle blue rotation. I guess it's just rotation in a different direction. So the pattern on top has four-way symmetry. I imagine it's one of the fours. I don't know if it's positive or negative four, but uh, I guess we could try it both ways and see what works. So here, put it on the end and see what comes out. What is, uh, yeah, it actually looks right. Yeah, I should probably give it to me. I imagine it probably would work both ways. It's just if I did negative four, I'd maybe have to start on the left side. It might not matter actually which side I start on. And I'm changing the speed of the white, which again, we understand how it works. The thing on top seems to get a four-way symmetry, so I'll put this to four. I don't see why I can't just wait for it to line up and then draw the whole thing. Uh, well, right now it doesn't look like it's drawing the thing, but maybe that'll change. No, it's not it at all, actually. Uh, okay, it's not nothing, but it is a bit off. Okay, let's let's try negative four. Maybe it actually makes a difference here. Yeah, what does this look like? Okay, it's a lot smoother on the outside. This already feels better. Uh, the other one was much more sharp in comparison, although it's still... Well, it looks... Ah, it's, it looks close. Like, it has a lot of similarities. Oh, and it ended... Okay, it gave it to me. It gave it to me. It even cheated some of the stuff, and it's like, yeah, it was close enough. It's like the very middle four is just amplified compared to the prompt. Well, otherwise, good. Okay, this looks like it has two-way symmetry, so I'll try for two. All right, we're, we're nailing this. Absolutely crushing. Oh, God, that's a giant thing. We got a whole eight-way symmetry here. So I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, man, look at that white middle thing spin. It does kind of feel good to get, like, a general idea of the pattern. To generalize it. Now, did I pick the wrong one? It is possible. I maybe could figure out a generalized idea for whether it should be positive or negative. But it's easy enough to try, and plus, that's this way we get to look at two satisfying shapes. And actually, that one was right, so... Hooray. Okay. Wait, what? What is my prompt? It's a giant slider. Um... Are we just supposed to mess around? Because I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do one on one end and one on the other end, see what I get. Well, this just seems like a fun little sandbox. See what sort of weird, crazy pattern I get. <laughs> it's just spinning around like an absolutely crazy bitch. It is very weaved, though. Wait, this is really coming together. I would love to have something like this, like, hanging on a wall in my living room. Or, like, a coaster that looked like this or something. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, it's just a have fun level. It succeeded. I had fun. Oh, more fun having. Let's do um, two different ones. I'm going to go negative nine, and I'll do like positive, what is this, seven? Let's see what happens here. Well, oh, those are very interesting bumps. I'm just letting us draw. It got the, what are these, uh, hexagons, basically? It's like overlapping hexagons. But the hexagons, then there's going to be like nine of them or something. Or maybe they're meant to be septagons, because I picked seven. Maybe I didn't pick seven. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's, that's cool. <laughs> nice. Since those two levels are sandbox levels, I thought I'd go ahead and show you some of my favorite creations from them. There's a lot of different shapes here. Round shapes, pointy shapes, jagged shapes, loopy shapes, jagged loopy shapes, any combination of the above, and a little surprise coming at the end. It really is surprising how diverse of shapes you can get from this, because I mean, there's only two inputs, but there are 21 different choices. Well, 20 meaningful choices, because I'm not going to count zero. Knowing that, there's 400 meaningful combinations. And then two more levels for 800 in total. And what's crazy is that there easily could be more sandbox levels. Like, we're only manipulating two small things at rotation speed. But you could probably manipulate a lot, like line length or even like how many rotating things there are, which direction they rotate in. The possibility for math shapes are endless. But what I wonder is, 
would it be able to like calculate and draw in and fill in the shapes after it if there were a ton of different possibilities like i almost wonder what the process is for doing that because this is very impressive that it's able to take these shapes and fill them in does it only work for a specific set of equations or can it be generalized and let's be honest i know why you're really here we don't need to see any of that puzzle solving stuff this time you just want to see the funny shapes and I mean, they are quite satisfying. It would be really cool to even have some sort of wallpaper that actively makes these or maybe fades in between them. Anyway, I'll stop talking for a little bit so you could just enjoy the soothing nature of these shapes being made. Honestly, I don't know what happened either. But that's the end of the game, so thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys all in the next puzzle game. Check out Tandist by the same developer if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.